What kind of sorcery is this? They made an iron hide. Yeah, oh, they've done that before. They made it good. Illogical. Please install firewall because brain is broken. Ironhide is an impatient bot with a strong temper. The weapon specialist has no issues expressing his anger and disapproval. However, he can be as loyal as he is stubborn, going all out in a fight to defeat the Decepticons. Though his time in the Transformers the movie was short, I guess it was good enough to receive a new studio series figure based on the classic style. This is good considering it's retribution for the terrible Earthrise release. Ironhide transforms into a van. It's so simple and wonderful with the the right clean boxy shape and squared off details right on the bumper with the classic curve on the large front window. Some prefer the truck, but if you're making a classic, make it a classic. Funny enough, there's no gold stripe, but the details suggest an outline for it. Hopefully it's for Ratchet later, which also explains the two notches on top for a possible light bar. I like the silver paint, especially on the rims that roll fairly well. It's just the right size for me, and there's no parts forming roof. The blasters have a few ways to store, on top as defensive or attack weapons, under the bumper to clear the road, or the back as exhaust, or perhaps they'll leak disgusting lubricants. This is a nice SUV. Seems simple enough, but like it jumped out of the animation, which is usually what they go for. Robot mode. <laughs> It took him this long to get the design right? Is it perfect? Well, no, there's panels on the legs and back that doesn't lock in. But after so many attempts, especially with the roof that just slapped on, this is undoubtedly the best version. And with no weird head window, just watch out for the transformation. The clean shape is gorgeous. I know this is the Studio Series 86 line, so accuracy is the focus, but wow, it's all pleasant, like it leaped out of the cartoon just to get shot by Megatron. The proportions are good and the heft is nice, which explains why this deluxe is a Voyager. The head also keeps things simple enough, but gets the basics right, with an unimpressed expression and mohawk helmet. I will say the silver could have been applied better though. Did someone say, articulation? <laughs> Ball jointed head, shoulders out and in, forward to back, rotation below, elbow bend, wrist rotation, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward to back, rotation below, knee bend, foot forward, back and tilt. Posability is pretty good, especially with the grapple style feet, but this waist plate seems weird. It gets out of the way, but the entire thing is one piece. Seems like it would have been easy to make them separate pieces. Let's take a look at the accessories. He comes with two matching blasters painted in silver with the tab hole to store them in the back or behind the legs. Of course, they fit in the hands, as he is the weapon specialist, and can use blast effects. This is an amazing figure. I mean, it feels like a long time coming for Ironhide. He has had so many problematic figures before, with the best being a Cybertronian style. Not that it was bad, but we needed a better Earth form figure. I know he's smaller than most Voyagers, but I gotta say, even if he didn't have the heft or engineering that makes up for it, this is well worth it. I'm very impressed with the design, and I certainly recommend it. Please, Ironhide, don't say lubricants. It's weird when you say it. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.